Knit I chord is such a useful technique to learn. You'll find I chord used as drawstrings, ties on baby bonnets, or even on knit toys. Hi, I'm Hannah from knitting.com, and today we'll be making a knit I chord tube. Knit I chord is a smooth stockinette stitch tube that is typically worked across four stitches. Want a thicker tube? Simply cast on more stitches. To practice with me today, you'll need two DPN needles or a long circular needle and yarn to match the size of needles you're working with. That's it. If you're ready, let's get started. So the first step with I cord is to make a slip knot and I'm gonna use the long tail cast on. You can use any cast on you'd like. I'm gonna cast on four stitches. It's typically worked across four, but you can work more stitches if you'd like. Just cast on more. So we're gonna cast on one, two, three, and four. So we've got our four stitches here. And typically when you knit, you're going to turn your work and knit back across, and that makes it flat. However, this is where it gets tricky and where you need the double pointed needle to come in handy. You're going to take your stitches and instead of working from this side over, you're going to slide them to the other end of the DPN and knit into this last stitch instead of the first stitch on the row. Win into that with your yarns, so you just bring it over, pull it over, and that's what creates the tube is the fact that you're pulling these two end stitches together by knitting kind of across the back or pulling them across the back and knitting across the front. So you're gonna knit across and your four stitches. And I like to pull on this yarn tail a little bit every once in a while just to kind of encourage the tube shape to come out. Now again, you've got your yarn on the left. All your stitches are to the left of the needle. I'm going to slide them to the right side. Kind of like, picture it like um, a typewriter when you're sliding the carriage back and forth after a row. So now, you're again, you're gonna knit from the right side. You're always gonna knit in from the right to the left, and you're never gonna turn your work. Again, it's pretty quick, so you're just gonna knit those four stitches. Pull that down a little bit, kind of encourage it to roll, and then shush them over to the other side, take your empty needle, and work again. So you're gonna work in the round, basically, for as long as you'd like. You keep sliding it from one end to the other. No special tricks. So again, we're gonna slide it over, take your empty needle, and then work another row. And once I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you the back side so you can start to see how this is forming. It takes a little while to form an eye cord, so you can see it's a little bit lumpy right now, but if you give it a little bit of a pull, it starts to even out. And then on the back side, you can see that you have a little bit of a looser column of stitches here, and to prevent that gap, you can tug on it a little bit when you're working that first stitch every row. It'll also even out when you go to block it later, so you get a little bit wet, either with a spray bottle or you soak it, and kind of pull on it, and it will all even out into a nice, even tube. And that was how to knit eye cord. Now that you know the basics, you can start to play around with this technique. For an extra fun project, try using a multicolored yarn or self-striping yarn for fun color patterns. You can even string beads onto your yarn and knit a beaded eye cord. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Subscribe to knitting.com if you'd like to stay in the loop and check out our other social media channels. Until next time, happy knitting.